welcome to the Miles Show. Today we'll be reacting to some old Windows 95 news report. And yes, I am aware that my undershirt is a little too big for the shirt that I'm wearing. Let's go! React to this. Time, Microsoft Corporation today officially unveiled its Windows 95 computer program. From Newfoundland to New York and New Zealand, millions of computer buffs swarmed into stores to buy the software package that's described as the dawn of a new era in personal computing. And it was. So you don't say that it wasn't because it was. And it was big and it had, flat, it had those games. It had those games that, that you played and opened up in a little tab. But is all the hype really warranted? CTV's Alan Fryer reports. Never has a piece of software been given such a hard sell. The hype has reached new heights. This guy's coming down the CN Tower, computer in hand. That's how you know when those 95 was that big. The point people would jump off the CN Tower with computers in their hands. I don't even know how, how it's possible, you know. I thought the computer would be a little heavy. You know, we're talking about 90s computers now. Those things, those things were a little heavy. Really? And that really is the Empire State Building bathed in Microsoft's corporate colors. Two, one. The cyber hype has been relentless. Go for it. It's been worldwide. There's never been any sale like it ever. And it's paying off. Your total is 145.33, sir. I just want to give it a whack, see what it's all about. This guy, this guy's here just to try. He doesn't even know what it is. Computers? What, what the hell is that? What, what could that be? Wow. <laughs> Those down under were the first to swarm over Windows 95. I had to get it. That's right, they are singing the world will never be the same again. Really. The fact is, Windows 95 is hardly a major technological breakthrough. What it is, is an improved operating system. That's the program that tells the rest of your computer what to do. It allows you to run all your other programs, and that's really all it is. That is it. It just tells your computer what to do. That is ex that is it. I don't know what everybody's making a big deal about this. Well, what even is a computer? The world or your old computer won't crash without Windows 95. But many of the new programs... You know, I'm, I'm deciding on whether or not to get the uh, tutorial for my daughter. Well, they simply won't work without it. You will eventually have to toss your old version of Windows out the you-know-what. The window? Like, in the trash can? Like, uh, out the you-know-what? Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? You want me to toss it in the trash? I mean, you can't say trash on TV? Come on. What do you want me to do? Stick my Windows 95 in my ass? Huh? I can do that if you want me to. I can stick my Windows 95 all the way up there. I can do that if you want me to. Millions to the Rolling Stones for their old hit, Start Me Up. Oh Christ, that's your MG song. I'm gonna get my eyeballs stabbed out. Oh Christ, shut this down, shut everything down. Universal Music Group is gonna eat us alive. Um, I could not show the rest of that because it had the Rolling Stones Start Me Up in it. And even though it's a good song, you can't do that on the YouTube because it's UMG and we already know what they do with the Beatles music if you have Beatles music in your videos. It ain't gonna be on YouTube for much long because I have no idea why they can't let you use Beatles music. I do not like you, UMG. I don't like you. But sometimes when you do let me use your music, I'm okay with you when, when that happens. Hey guys, watch this. I'll see you guys. I see you! Bye bye, guys. Eh, 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 now they're coming for me, they're 